Hi, in this video we're going to talk about adapters in Android Studio. So an adapter is a piece of software that you're going to have to encounter whenever you work with lists or any kind of a, a drop-down menu. So you can see on the left side there is an example of a spinner. It's the drop-down menu where you select from a, a, a predefined choices. And then the right side is the array list or the list idea where you can have um, many different things and j they just scroll on by. So either one of those is what you think of when you think of adapters and lists. So we're going to do some coding. We're going to create a class of some data source such as persons or cars or some kind of object that we've been working with. And then the right side is the adapter view which is the the actual display of the GUI elements. So it's going to be a form or a list of items that you want to show on the uh, on the application screen. And to make the bridge between those two is the adapter. And so that's where it gets kind of confusing and challenging to figure out. So we'll show you lots of examples to make sure that this works. So th first of all, think of what adapters are in the real world, in the physical world. So if you're doing with a conversion from one type of electricity to another, you're going to have to purchase an electrical adapter. Or if you have different formats of cabling, you've got charging ports and USBs of different varieties. So there's adapters for different formats. Video signals and serial cables, they all have adapters. And so there's one for a Macintosh, it looks like. So those of you that have Apple phones and Apple computers know all about adapters. Also thinking of adapters, sometimes people think of the mechanics adapter. So these socket wrenches are all in different sizes. Usually there's just two different sizes. So the little tiny wrenches have a small point where you can plug in your handle. And that handle doesn't always fit with the bigger wrenches that are heavy duty. And so you can have these adapters, as you can see on the left, that will just allow you to plug the handle into one and then attach it to smaller or larger wrench sockets. Now, uh, electrical adapters for your computer are adapting the voltage. So the wall uh, outlet is probably going 120 volts and your computer only needs 12 volts to charge. So that big block there is an adapter that's converting from one type of electricity to another. So let's talk about our two different uh, programming classes again. So if we have on the left side a list of persons called an array list, and our person has a name, age, and a photo, the activity on the screen might have three different components for each list item. You might have a text view for the name, a text view for the age, and then you'd have another type of view called an image view, which will show a photo. And so we're going to have this class that's going to convert one and map the properties of one class to the location on the screen for the other. So the, what it looks like then in real life is that you have an array list likely. And the simplest one is just an array list of type string. And then on the right side, you're going to have this XML code. And in the middle is the adapter. And so we're going to take a look at two different lessons on how to build these adapters. Example one is a simple array adapter. It's one line long. And so most of you will like this one. It's just easy to work with and it's predefined. The limitation is you can only show one line of string on each element in your list. More than likely, you have uh, classes with multiple properties, such as name, age, and photo. And how do you map those to a custom list? Well, what you have to build is a custom adapter. And so that'll be part two that we'll work at. So the first one will get you started with lists, and then the next one will get you more of an advanced level where you'll become an expert in showing lists of things on your Android Studio. 